Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Time Out with Tony Dyson. And yes, of course, this is Tony Dyson. Um, well, last week, I got a little stirred up talking about uh, we need to get it together, talking about the church, talking about the people. So on this week, I asked God, well, Lord, what shall I do on this day? He said, it's time to talk to the men. I just recently assumed the role of our men's ministry, and I'm getting ready to get some things into order. But yes, it's time to talk about the men. You know, I find it disturbing that it's so many men in the world, so many men in the neighborhoods, in the stores, and wherever you go. There are a bunch of men, but none in church. And I asked God, well, Lord, why? And God said, because the enemy has us, and I do say us, distracted. He puts on the football games at a certain time, the basketball games, the playoffs. You know, we can only wash our cars on Sunday because of the car wash or barbecue or whatever the case may be. Yes, the enemy has us distracted. So, therefore, we send our women and children to church. And because we are the protectors, because we are the leaders, because we are the, you know, the hunters, we leave or let our women go out uncovered. We leave them without a protector. You know, if you ever seen the movie Lion King, see, long as uh, Mufasa was around, none of the hyenas, you know, came up. They stayed at bay. But every time Mufasa went off, they'd get closer and closer. So that's what I'm saying about our women and children. If we're not with them, the enemy sees them as vulnerable prey to have its way with. So that's why why you go into churches and you know it's full of women and children and wondering why pastors get tempted, the deacons get tempted, the ministers get tempted. <laughs> because the women are vulnerable. Amen. But as we move on, we're going to go to the second chapter. I'm, I'm sorry, the third chapter of 2 Timothy, the second verse. It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Hmm. Covetous, boasters, proud blasphemers. <laughs> I mean, just love to tell lies. Disobedient to parents unthankful and unholy and yes i'm going to go back in but just that verse right there is just saying about our men right now unholy lovers of ourselves lovers of our own selves come on man we got to get it together without natural affection truce breakers false accusers or as people say hate known or you know whatever the case may be incontinent fierce despisers of those that are good traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of god having a form of godliness but denying the power for of this sort are they which crept into houses and led captive silly women, laden with sins, led away with divers' lust. So, man, just be real. Put that into perspective. See, I can say before I became a man of God and decided to follow God for myself, hey, now I'm not saying the lovers of themselves part, but I'm saying, you know, with silly women and all the sins that I had, you know, laying with the silly women now, they bear my sins as well. See, man, that's 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 what we have to understand is, is when we lay down with a woman, we leave part of ourselves with them. But that's another segment. That's another story. But right now it's saying that men who are supposed to be the leaders, the hunters, the protectors, that we're traitors. That we're unholy. We love everything. We, we're more in love with pleasures, pleasuring ourselves, than we are in love with God. So in other words, it's kind of like, screw God's word. I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. Man, it's time to take our spots back. Society is replacing us. Look back in the 70s, all the shows, the Cosby show, all in the family. Leave it to Beaver. Then as you started getting up through the 80s and 90s, you had the single parent homes with a single mother. 
or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm talking about. Society is replacing us. Men, society has written us off. It's time for us to stand up and take our place back into society and let our women know, I'm here for you. I'm here to protect you. See, that's one thing about man is woman, woman's nature. We cancel one another out. Whether well, man is all masculine and tough and the hunter, the woman with her uh, feminine voice and her feminine touch or whatnot cancels us out. And we do the same to them. Amen. So what we have to understand is, man, and I'm going back to men shall be lovers of themselves. Now, man, that is an abomination. See, God told Adam and Eve, be fruitful and multiply. So therefore, he put Adam and Eve together to multiply. So therefore, you cannot have children or offspring without a man and a woman being together. But like I said, society has replaced us. They've let same-sex marriages between man and man, woman and woman, go on. So therefore, and then also the Bible teaches us not to have sex outside of marriage. Now, I'm not being a hypocrite because before I got where I was or where I am now, I was in the same boat. But what I am saying is, is therefore, so now you have man and man together, and woman and woman, which creates an abomination, which creates more sin, and then you have a woman laying with a man because she's married to a woman just to have offspring or to get certain procedures done. And I, and I do know that there's other ways, but you all understand what I'm getting at. Men, society has replaced us. So, society has replaced us with TVs. Society has replaced us with rap music. Society has replaced us with government funding. See, I, see, I found it funny uh, a couple of years ago. Fell upon some hard times. You know, my, myself, my wife, my daughter, we went to the uh, uh, food stamp place. I'm not ashamed to say. Because, you know, I, we had some things that were not going totally right. But because we made like $25 too much. They could not offer us anything. But yet I know families where men have walked away from the families. Or even people that are lying just to stay afloat. Now I know what you're going to say, you know, put your trust in God. Yes, and I do understand that. But I'm just trying to show you how society has replaced the man. They will take care of the families long, as long as there is no man in a picture or in the picture. Man, it's time. We have to stand up and start being recognized. Protect our families. Protect our women. Do what thus says the Lord. It is now that time for us to stand up. Become closer together. And I know what some men may be saying, well, I can't talk to this other one because it, as it says, men are going to be traitors. So that means, yes, it's going to be hard to find somebody to actually talk to. But there is somebody out there, gentlemen. And as, and as brothers and men of God, we do need to stick together in our neighborhoods, in our families, in the church. It is time for these men, these strong men, to pull together and be the kings that God has set us up to be. God bless you and God keep you. Until next time, we're Time Out with Tony Dyson.